Hey Lenny friends, it's Lisa Young Sutton with a fun video today. Now many of you have asked me how I use Lenormand with other card systems and um, I actually used to combine systems in order to learn the Petit Lenormand. So I'm going to show you how to um, how I did that. Okay, but you can you can always combine systems if you are a tarot reader and you are skilled in tarot and you want to learn the Petit Lenormand, you can um, use the techniques I'm about to show you. Um, I do still sometimes combine the, this is the Grand Jeu Lenormand with the Petit Lenormand and I still uh, sometimes use the Oracle cards for advice, especially after a disappointing or, you know, troublesome Lenormand card like after a GT reading and, and they didn't hear what they wanted to hear and I asked them if they would like some advice cards drawn and I've never once had them say no and then I use oracle cards for that. Um, here we have the uh, Zagunner cards and of course there's um, Petit Lenormand. Okay so I will show you those in a second. All right so now, now the, the trick to combining systems is, is to know which system is going to be used for what. You can't just draw a bunch of tarot cards, a bunch of um, Grand Jeu Lenormand, a bunch of Petit Lenormand, and a bunch of Oracle cards, and then try to figure out what they all mean. You need to decide ahead of time, set your intention as to which cards, which system is going to represent what. Okay, like uh, for example, you would decide that one system is going to give you the theme of, of the reading and another will provide details or one will be the main reading and the other one will be for advice that kind of thing okay so you just have to decide ahead of time which system is going to represent what now a fun thing that I used to do all the time was to uh, okay so somebody would contact me either like a, I would get a, a, a voice message or a text or an email or a private message whatever it is from someone, and this could be someone I know or just someone who wants a reading, but I don't know what it's about yet, right? So before I would read their message or before I would call them back um, to find out what they want, I would lay the cards and I would ask the cards, what is it that they're contacting me about? What do they want to know? Or, or what are they going to tell me? And I would draw the cards and it's great because you then get immediate feedback. As soon as you read their message or as soon as you contact them, you know. <laughs> You know if the cards were right or not so it's a great way of learning a card system okay now let me just show you the differences in these card systems obviously you know people know what tarot is um, of course you know I had to show you my my groovy uh, rock and roll tarot because you know being a 60s flower child you know I had to have here I'll show you this deck I had to have a, uh, you know, a hippie tarot deck. And, and what's cool about this deck is that it's also really a cheater deck because, I mean, it has, it does have the name of the, the card on here, like this is the King of Cups, but it also has some keywords right, right on each card. So um, hopefully you can still get this deck now that I'm showing it to you. Everybody will want it. <laughs> That's happened before, hasn't it? All right, so there's tarot. Anyway, okay, now the Grand Show. This is another card system that I originally learned from uh, Bjorn Muris. Um, and it is a card system that you need to know. You can't just use it and wing it, which you can actually do with tarot. I mean, you can just read them like oracle cards. But here, I'll just show you one. As you can see, there's a lot going on in these cards. So you really do need to learn the system. Now, I'll, I'll tell you that there is currently no... Um, oh, can't get that back in there. There is currently no book in English. And yes, it is on my list of uh, books to write. You know, I should live so long to write all the books I want to write. But um, like I said, I did take um, a, a couple courses, I believe, initially with Bjorn. Um, but if you read, if you are able to read German or French, there are books in both languages. Now, my mother was German. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, I was able to um, extrapolate the information I needed from this German book with the help 
um, of the online translators, but I was able to get all the information I needed from this book, even though I am not fluent in German. So um, that is, you know, an idea for you if you want to learn that system. I'm just saying. Okay, now the, the Zagunner cards. Zagunner cards are, Zagunner is German for gypsy. So these are not gypsy witch cards. They are the German gypsy cards. Now this is Tony's, Tony the Card Geek. Look, right, there's her website right there. The Card Geek. Okay. Um, I love these. I love the artwork. I'm going to, where are they? I'm going to show you these right now. Oh, here they are. These are, I love them. Okay, now these are great for pulling one card for a theme. And then you use the Lenormand cards to, to fill in the details. And I'm gonna show you that in a second. But as you can see, perfect for a theme, right? Why is this person contacting me? Oh, they desire something. They have an enemy. Oh, it's about cheating. It's, oh, jealousy. It's about a legal issue. It's about love. It's about illness. Someone proposed, you know, they lost something lost money whatever it is okay so as you can see these are great for a theme now if you want to actually there is actually a, a gypsy card a, a zagunner card system um and if you would like to know more about that uh the only thing that i know of okay lynn boyle also sells zagunner cards on her etsy um in her Etsy store, uh, Aquarius Wellbeing, which is always linked in the description box. Um, and when you buy a deck from her, you get a PDF of all the card meanings. But I believe if you already have Tony's deck or you just like the artwork better on her deck, I'm pretty sure that you can just buy the PDF from Lynn. I hope you can now that I said that. <laughs> but there also is this book. And I've had this book for quite a while. I got it because I originally wanted to learn the, the Sibylla. Um, this is Sibylla della Zingara um, system, which I never actually did. But what I found when I got this deck was that all of these cards are in this book. They ha have different names, but you can tell what the names, you can, you know, it's, it's easy to tell what they are. Like, I think in her deck, she, she calls the, um, the, the one card, card minister, right? Now these are in alphabetical order, right? You look under the M's and you see, oh no, minister's not there. Well then what else can you call a minister? I thought priest. Yep, there it is, priest. Okay, so that's what I mean. But all of, all of the cards are actually in this book and you'll get ideas for how to use these cards too. There's a cross spread. You can see how I organize my, my books. There's a relationship spread. There's a nine square. Okay, anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, if you really want to get into the gypsy cards, um, of course, this this channel is not to teach you other card systems. It's to teach you the Petit Lenormand. But I'm showing you how I actually, um, what helped me to learn the Petit Lenormand. And that was by using other card systems that I already knew. And then incorporating the Petit Lenormand into it. To, uh, to help me now. Okay, so let's see, what else, what else? Okay, so now if you wanna combine tarot with the Petit Lenormand, you can, you can just pull out your majors. Like if you wanna use the, uh, the tarot for your theme and the Petit Lenormand for details, you can just pull out the majors and draw a major arcana card. You can just pull out the court cards if this is about information for a person uh, regarding, you know, a person. Or you can use the full deck, you know, whatever you want. Um, so I'm going to show you a, a little uh, demonstration of that in a second. And I do briefly want to explain the differences in oracle decks because Oracle decks, you know, there's no system. I mean, they're all um, unique based on whoever designed them. You know what I mean? There's no like um, numbering, standardized numbering system or standardized reading system. Um, I do love Denise Lynn's decks. Um, here's two right here. Now she, what I like about her decks is that they all come with a pretty good guidebook. Almost all Oracle decks will come with a guidebook. If they don't come with a guidebook, it's because 
the all the information is right on the card okay um so like with denise lynn's with these two decks anyway um she gives you a card meaning and then an advice uh section for each card okay um now some i also like colette Bar baron reed's decks here's two right here now this one has an animal theme and this is um the enchanted map i'll just I think this is the one that uses reversals. As you can see, these are pretty hefty books. There's a lot, a lot in here. Yep, this is the one. Okay, so you wanna check to see if the card um, deck that you're using, if the intention was set to use reversals. You wanna check that first, because if it does, you want to shuffle the cards accordingly so that you can read them either way. So how do you do that? Well, there's a couple ways you can just do the swoosh method where you just swoosh them all around and they get all mixed up and then you put them back together and then you're not sure which which way is up so you turn the deck over and then you just write it by the by the bottom card okay or you can you know shuffle your cards um, and then um, shuffle as many times as you want and then just feel for feel for where you should split the deck and then just turn half of it over and then shuffle again you can do that as many times as it feels right to you and again you you turn it over and make sure that you have it the right way before you draw cards okay so that's how you use reversals with your oracle decks and i want to quickly show you a deck that doesn't really have a big guidebook this is the modern oracle by katie k now this is an australian deck and I believe that um, outside of Australia, I got this as gift. Um, so I'm pretty sure though, out, any place outside of Australia, you have to have it shipped to you. So it's, um, you're gonna have to pay that shipping. But this is a deck that, I really like this deck too. It, as you can see, it just comes with this little, little white book. It doesn't have a big guidebook. So she's not giving you a lot of information here on each card. I mean, there's something, but, as I just said, when they don't come with a big guidebook, it's because you don't really need it. Where was the deck? Oh, right here. You don't need it. I mean, here, let's just look at some of these. They're all, all the information is right on the card. Okay? And even if you didn't want to use the words, if it, like if you didn't want to read the words, I mean, what does that look like? It looks like you're searching for information. You're studying, right? Yeah, study, focus, analyze, check the fine print. Okay? So... But of course, each card has, has the meaning right on it. All right, so that's why it doesn't come with a, uh, a big guidebook. And I'm gonna use these cards in a second to show you how I use them. Okay, so let's get into some examples here. Say you, and this is, oh my gosh, I used to do this every single day when I was learning the Petit Lenormand, I have, I have journals full of these readings. I would ask for an inspirational message for the day and I would draw an oracle card. So we're gonna use Denise Lynn's Sacred Traveler, okay? And say you got Discover, here I'll zoom, oops, sorry, I'll zoom in. Say you got Discovering the Truth, okay? And it says right here, you stand in the light of the truth. Well, you're thinking, okay, well, what exactly does that mean? So you get out the guidebook and the way I use guidebooks typically, I rarely read the whole thing that's in a guidebook. Sometimes I do if I am moved to, but I typically don't. I use the same method that one would use for bibliomancy, where I turn to the page, uh, obviously, of the, the card that I drew. Uh, hers are in alphabetical order according to the name of the card. So you go to Discovering Truth. Here it is, right? I just see where my eyes go. So I'm not reading this whole thing. I'm scanning it and I see my eyes go right to, even if those don't agree. And then it goes, speak your truth. That's all I need to, that's all I need to know. So this card is telling me, stand up for yourself, speak your truth, your tr right here, walk your talk, okay. Even if no one agrees with you, you need to stand up for what you believe in, for what, you know, you need to, to speak your truth, okay. So that's what the message I am getting for this card is. Now, I would then draw three, did I show you this deck? Okay, hang on. I would draw three Lenormand cards 
because I was trying to learn the Petit Lenormand system. Now, so right, because I already got my message. That's not what this was about. This was about learning these cards. The purpose was that rather than just looking at these three cards and saying, well, let's see, I think it's about travel, it's about moving, it's about maybe, um, oh, maybe there was a change in travel plans and I'm gonna go to the mountains. No, that's not what this is about. This, you have to match these cards to the context of the reading. So I already knew that my advice card, right, my inspirational message card was telling me to stand up for myself and speak my truth. So now how do you, oh, there's my pointer. How do you relate Polly's Sunset Lenormand? This is uh, another, another Tony deck, okay? How do you relate all of these cards to this context, okay? That was the purpose of, of me doing this. Okay, so right away I'm thinking, this is speak your truth. So this, this to me is saying silence, right? And we're seeing changes coming after that. So I'm already putting together a story. So this would be saying to me, um, you, were, you were too silent, be I'll just say I. I was too silent before, I was, I was too detached. I was like too secluded, right? Um, I was afraid to face that big enemy of, of rejection, of possible rejection, right? Ooh, the big enemy of rejection, right? So the stork then is, is the change card, right? It's telling me to reorient myself, to, to progress, to evolve. What card comes after your change card? Um, the ship. The ship in this context is telling me that I need to set sail on a new, for a new adventure, right? To start speaking up for myself. It's about moving forward, um, outward expansion, uh, doing something that was foreign to me before, okay? Now, do you see how that helped me to learn how to fit these cards into any context, okay? I used to do that every single day. Okay, now, you can also use the Petit Lenormand for advice, okay? So I'm going to um, demonstrate that with a tarot card, all right? Now for you tarot readers out there, I read tarot more like um, oracle cards, okay? I never officially studied a tarot system, but I knew how, I knew numbers, I knew, I understood the elements, I knew um, how to read symbols, so, you know, it's pretty, pretty much, uh, it's pretty cut and dry, really. Okay, so anyway, here, we got the Eight of Cups. So, journey unknown, it says on here, but, you know, I mean, what does this look like? It looks like this guy, he, he's, um, he's not satisfied with what he has, he's going off looking for, for more, right? So we could say that. So, so you, if you pulled that as your theme, right? Um, and then you could draw three, three Lenormand cards. Okay, we have to give this a, a good theme though. Like say, say somebody, your friend called you and said, I really need to talk to you. And you wanted to know what it was about. And you drew this card and you're like, okay, well, I know him. He's never satisfied. And he, he goes from job to job. And that's probably what he's doing. He's probably going to ask me, I don't know, should I leave this job? I don't think it's, it's going to be exactly what I thought. And you know, so you're, you're kind of already putting together the whole picture. So you draw, uh, and you know he's going to ask for advice. So that's why you're, you're going to draw three Lenormand cards now for advice. And you get, of course, you get the decision card. And you get the fox and the ring. Okay, so what would this say to me? Okay, because um, you already have your story, right? So this would be, okay, he's going to ask me for advice. So I am going to tell him that the decision to walk away from what you already have going on here, okay? The decision to walk away is wrong and you need to commit. You need to stay put for once in your life and stop walking away, <laughs> looking for that ninth cup. Eight is enough, okay? <laughs> Eight is enough, wasn't that a TV show? All right, so there again, you're matching your, if you already know tarot, this was easy for you, right? But now you are learning how to fit the Lenormand cards to the context of what you already knew, okay? All right, so let's see if we wanted to use the, the uh, Zagunner cards. Like say we wanna use the, um, the Zagunner cards, that's these, right? Okay, 
right? Okay, so you want to use those for your theme and you get gift. Okay, so gift, well that, you know, that could mean several different things. Is someone, uh, you know, because like somebody called you, right? And you're like, okay, this is a friend. Yeah, like, does he want to give me a gift? Is he going to tell me about a gift? Um, you know, what does he want, right? So then you draw three Lenormand cards and you get, let me put this up here, and you get the mice, you get the child, and you get the book. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? You get, because that is the gift card. <laughs> okay, yeah, that happens a lot, doesn't it? Okay, so you're thinking, okay, well, you know what? I know he has a kid and he doesn't live with the child. It's the child's first birthday. Okay, I bet he's, he's, he wants to know um, this is driving him crazy. He's at a loss as to what to get for his child, for the child's first birthday. So that's why he's calling me. And then, of course, you call him back, and then you know if the cards were right. You get that immediate feedback, okay? But you just put, you, you use this as your theme, and then you drew three cards to fill in the details in this case. All right? These are not being used as advice. These are being used to fill in the details of what did this card mean? What did this mean, gift? Well, of course, you got the gift card here, but this is telling you that it's a gift for his child and he's at a loss and it's gnawing away at him that he does not know what to get the kid, so that's why he's going to call you. Okay, there's another example. I'm gonna give you one more. Because it's hot in this room, I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> so, and if I turn on my air conditioner, you won't be able to hear me. So, um, what if we wanted to use the Lenormand cards for the theme and Oracle for advice? Let's do that. Okay. So, you pull three cards from Lenormand for a theme. And you get Book, you get Lily, and you get Whip. Okay? Now, say this is for someone who contacted you for a reading and you're trying to figure out what they want, or maybe this is for a friend, or even if you just wanted to practice and you're going to make it up. It doesn't matter. Okay, so what could this mean? Well, this is the traditional card of uh, family, okay? Um, you're about the, book, the book in the near position means you're about to find something out that is going to be a little upsetting to you. All right, so you're going to find something out about family and it's going to, um, you're not going to like it and you're, a, a fight will ensue. Okay, so that's, that's what you're looking at here. Now, you want advice on how to handle this. Okay, so let's use KDK. Let's use KDK. And I'll show you just how to use the Oracle cards like this for advice. Okay, so if you got this card, well, that's pretty cut and dry, right? It says forgive, make peace. So if that's the card you drew for the advice, you're not going to really get into a fight then, are, are you? You're gonna stop fighting and you're gonna say, listen, I need to just let, let, you know, let it go. Same, same with this card. This is have patience, don't rush in. So this is saying don't jump into a big fight and, and um, say things that you can't take back and that will cause a big family problem forever, right? Just chill out, right? Um, this one is telling you to communicate, okay? This one is saying rather than just get into a big argument and have a, have a blow up, um, you need to, you know, choose your words wisely maybe and just, um, you know, uh, just hear them out, you know, that kind of thing to figure out what, what they're trying to say. Get their side of the story. There you go. Um, this one will be telling you like blood is thicker than water, right? Yeah, so don't don't get into that big fight and, and um, yeah, you know, stick with the family. Now, this is kind of saying the opposite, isn't it? This is saying stand your ground. So this is kind of telling you to get into this fight, right? This is saying you got to stand up for yourself. Don't you back down. You be strong, okay? I don't, don't, doesn't matter what he says. You stand up for yourself. This would be saying the opposite. This is saying, no, come on, you're, you're, bound to him through blood, you know, don't, uh, don't get crazy. Okay, now what if you get a card like this? Obviously this has nothing to do with diet, but what is the message here? Detox, make positive changes. That's kind of telling me if, if you're about to find something out about a family member that you're not gonna like, and it's gonna be very discordious, right? This is telling me make positive changes, detox, like 
maybe you, you need to walk away or not, you know what I mean? Like just let this person go, kind of maybe even cut them out of your life, you know? Make positive changes, detox, remove them from your diet, at least temporarily. That's what that would tell me. Um, <laughs> this one is saying the opposite. Done. You're done with them. Well, not the opposite, but it's it's saying, no, just, just be done with it. Run away. Okay, what if you got this card? This has nothing to do with a house, say, right? And you draw, but you draw this new home, home improvement. Well, what's the, the house card about? It's about your personal life. Who do you want in your personal life? This is saying new home, new personal life, home improvement, improve your personal life. If this person is going to bring drama and discord into your personal life, you need to eliminate that. You need a new home. You need to improve your personal life. Don't get sucked into this family drama. This would be saying clean, uh, spring clean, clean sweep, a shakeup. So that, that would be, yeah, just, you know, have it out with them and walk away. This one would be saying, t take your time. Don't rush into anything, right? That's kind of the opposite of this. Like, don't, don't engage in this fight. Let it go. Same with this. Move on. Well, this, this would be, yeah, this would be saying move on. This is actually not saying move on. This is saying just chill out and see how things progress, right? This one, look at this one. There's a storm brewing. There's chaos. That, that to totally fits in with that. But it's saying tread lightly. Be prepared. Tread lightly. So watch, watch your words, right? Don't inflame the situation. So there you go. That's, that's how you could draw three Lenormand cards um, for a theme, and then you could use your oracle cards for advice on how to handle this, okay? Whoo, and I do have, by the way, when you um, wanna use your Lenormand cards for advice, that is in my book, here's my book, The Petite Lenormand Oracle by moi. Under each card section, I do have, right here, an advice section so there you go okay that's it for today my friends i hope you found that informative and enjoyable and not confusing and all of that thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye everybody